If we put something in water, it will either float on the surface of water or sink in the bottom of water. Let's learn about floating and sinking today. Let's see what happened to these two objects in water. Here one object is sinks in water, another one is float on the water. So, if something is able to float, is called buoyant. Here this bird, this aquatic bird is buoyant. It can float on water. Look carefully what happens when we put this bowl in the glass containing full of water. Okay, you should take a glass full of water. What will happen if you put a bowl in that water? Some water has spilled out. We can see this arrow. This arrow indicates the movement of water. We can see that the bowl has displaced the water. The bowl and the water cannot be at the same place at the same time. Water has to make space for the bowl. So water will move. This is called displacement. The movement of water here. The bowl pushes the water for space. See, the bowl is pushing the water for space. Then the water will move up. Everything we put in water displaces water. Let us do an experiment. For this, we need two different shaped objects which is made up of the same material and same weight. Here, the bowl, we can weight the bowl. It weighs about 50 gram. And we can weigh the second material also. It too weighs 50 gram. Both are having the same weight. But only one of the object is going to float. We can drop this bowl which is made up of clay in the water. What happens? Some water is displaced. And that displaced water is collected in a container, in a measuring jar. So we can see how much it is. It is nearly 30 milliliter. And the object is sink in the water. Now let us repeat the same experiment with the clay which is made in the shape of a boat. We can see whether it will sink or float in water. Yes, it floats. It floats on water and you see how much water it is displacing. The water which it displays will be equal of its weight. So, what we have understood from this experiment? A floating object displaces an amount of water which is equal to its own weight. So, here the difference is only the shape of the object. The weights are equal. The weight of the two objects are equal. Only the shape is different here. Okay, in the case of bowl, it didn't touch more surface of water. So, it didn't displace the its own weight. We have seen there 30 milliliter of water. But in the case of the second object, it displaces its equal weight. So, uh, the volume of the material, volume means how much space it takes.
more the volume more amount of water is displaced so here the second object has more volume so more water is displaced so it is floating on the water what makes something float or sink a feather will float on the water and a rock will sink in the water but a big ship which is made up of iron and all it will float on the water a big ship will float on the water it is heavy and large but they displace more volume of water so it can float now can we read our textbook unit 10 sink or float look at that yellow color box that is your previous knowledge what you have already learned aquatic birds can move on water we use boats and ships to travel on water coconut lily and lotus seeds float on water kerosene and coconut oil float on water oil leaked from ships form a layer on sea water after that there is a story given you have to read the story and we can discuss in the live session in next page page number 126 there is a game do a game collect maximum number of materials take a beaker half filled with water say float or sink put the things in water record the observation so here you need to do an experiment at home so for this you need to collect some materials i will be telling some common materials which you all have to do together and some other materials from your side also you can include here and before doing this experiment you need to guess first you need to tell whether the material will sink or float you can include safety pin match sticks plastic bowl or any plastic material which you have and a rubber bowl take a glass which is half filled with water then before dropping the things in the water you need to guess for example first you are going to drop a stone in the glass so before that you need to guess whether it will sink or float after guessing you just check it whether your guessing is correct or not then you slowly carefully you drop the stone in the water then you can record your observation in the textbook page number 126 so in page number 126 there is a table given you have to record the observations things that sink in the water and things that float on the water minimum five things you need to write here okay next repeat the experiments using the following things here you can use another container instead of a glass of water you can use a bucket of water okay otherwise the plastic bottle will not fix there so you can take another container like bucket of water or a little big container okay then you can drop a plastic bottle with full of water the first thing is a plastic bottle with full of water before that you guess what what will be the uh, result whether it will sink or float after doing the experiment you can 
write it there in the same in the textbook itself you can write you can give one hyphen and write it's sink or float and next one an empty plastic bottle you make the plastic bottle empty the same plastic bottle empty then you do this experiment and write the result there in the textbook next a bottle half filled with water the same bottle you can use and fill the bottle half of water then do the experiment and write your observation in the textbook then the next thing is the aluminium foil of tablets like this so you can take this some pieces of the tablet aluminium foil of this tablet and drop it on the water and find your observation and note down in your textbook next is the aluminium foil shaped into a bowl okay then find the result whether it will sink or float then the last one is aluminium foil made into a bowl so like this one of the bowl we can make and do the same experiment and find the result we can discuss in the live session now can we read the textbook today is the onam celebration conducted by the residents association each house has to prepare a menu my uncle is preparing the welcome drink we prepared lemon juice in a big pot danish brought a piece of iron block and put it in the pot the juice became brimful to flow out of the pot what will be the position of the ice block does it float or sink it will be easy you have already observed many times you may drink juices with ice cubes now you just see the picture is it sinking or floating it floats so you can tick there the ice block will float on the water when the ice melts the juice will flow out and said angrily no andy when it melts juice would not come out danish said what is your opinion andy said that when ice melts the juice will flow out but danish told that when ice melts juice would not come out you do one thing you do this experiment and write your opinion in your textbook take a glass of water then add one or two ice cubes wait some times for the melting of ice after melting of ice will the water overflow or not observe and write your opinion in your textbook take a glass full of water and put a big piece of ice in it observe what happens when it melts can you assume why it is so so you have to guess you have to observe first and you write the observation in your textbook and guess why it happens volume is measured in liter listen children the volume is measured in liter look at this photo this is dead sea here people do not sink in the water see how nicely she is floating on the water this dead sea is between jordan and israel how does it happen here in our place we sink in the water but people in the dead sea are floating on the water what is the reason the reason is dead sea has huge amount of salt compared to any other sea or ocean the presence of these salt increases the floating capacity let's do the salt water experiment to understand how 
the salt increases the floating capacity of any object. Take water in a glass or any beaker. Look at the first glass. Here we have taken water in a glass and put an egg slowly in it. What is the position of the egg? In the first glass, the egg in the first glass sinks, which has plain water. The water from the tap, plain water. Now, take another glass, add 5 spoons of salt and dissolve in the water by using a spoon. Okay, take another glass. We can number it as a second glass. And you have to add 5 spoons of salt. And try to dissolve it by using a spoon. And put the egg slowly. Where is the egg now? The egg is in the middle of the water. In the second glass, which has salt water, the egg floats. In the middle of the glass. Now take another glass. Add more salt. Okay, add more amount of salt in the glass containing water and dissolve the salt by using the spoon. After dissolving the salt, you put the egg. Drop the egg in it slowly. Now what is the position of the egg? In the third glass, you look at here. In the third glass, the egg floats. Okay. So what is the difference here? In the third glass, more amount of salt. So the salt increases the floating capacity. So you have to do this experiment and find the result. In this experiment, you will be observing that when we add more salt, the egg floats on the water. The quantity of water is the same, but the quantity of salt dissolved in water is different. Now, can you say why the man is not sinking in the Dead Sea? Yes, that is because of the Quantity of salt in the Dead Sea. Quantity of salt is more in the Dead Sea. So look at this hot green color box. When salt dissolves in water, it becomes a solution. We can call that solution as salt solution. When we add salt in the water, that is salt solution. When more salt is added, the concentration of the solution increases. Okay, did you understand that? When we are adding more amount of salt, the concentration of salt is increases. When the concentration increases, the floating capacity also increases. So, there in the Dead Sea, the concentration of salt is more. So, the floating capacity also increases. Now, we can understand how to separate the salt from the water from another experiment. For this, we have taken a glass of water and going to add some salt and mix the salt into the water by using the spoon. Stir it when it fully dissolves. Now it becomes salt solution. Salt is completely dissolved in the water. It becomes salt solution. Our aim is to separate the salt from this water. So now we are going to pour that water, salt solution in this vessel and boil it till the water evaporates. Wait for some time for the evaporation process. What do you mean by evaporation? 
the water changes into water vapor so because of the heat the water will evaporate now you look here as you can see in the vessel the water has evaporated leaving behind the salt now we can separate salt from this water yes now the water has fully evaporated leaving behind the salt see the salt what about the salt we use how do we get the salt salt is made by evaporating the salt water that means sea water with the help of sunlight the sea water is collected in the low field look at this here the sea water is collected with the help of sunlight the sea water will evaporate and salt will be separated there and we can collect salt from there now we can discuss about salt satyagraha or dandi march in india british rulers imposed tax on salt production the price of the salt they raised they increased the price of the salt and the poor people suffered a lot they are not able to give the price for buying the salt you just imagine a food item without salt can you able to eat that the salt is the main or common ingredient in all the food items which we need to eat the food item there the british people has imposed tax on it and which we are getting from our nature from the sea water by the natural method which we get that was controlled by the british people gandhi ji protested against the practice of the british people which they have imposed tax on the salt that was protested by the gandhi ji he started a march from his sabarmati ashramam at ahmedabad in gujarat on 12th march 1930 with his 78 followers the march covered 240 miles reached dandi on april 6th he broke the law by collecting salt at the sea shore the salt satyagraha drew attention of all to the indian independence movement